Hey guys, welcome to um, the mystery box. So in this um, workshop, you're obviously gonna be making some cute little carrots. You've got a little bucket, um, super cute little Easter item. So the first thing I want you guys to do is grab your buckets. Um, you can take your straw, um, get it all shoved in the bucket and then you can set your bucket aside. Um, then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna get your paint out. Um, go ahead and paint your carrots and then paint your um, little circle, the khaki color. Um, that little circle is actually going to eventually glue to that, and then this is going to be on it, and it's gonna to attach to your bucket, just so you have an idea of what's going on with that. Um, so you'll wanna give those a couple coats of paint. I didn't do them a ton because I actually like the striping because I think it makes it look more like a carrot. Um, you can also notice when you are painting that there's some um, indents on the sides like some um, nicks in the wood and you're thinking like, Autumn, what are you, what are you doing with that? Um, I did that because I was hoping it would actually give it that kind of like indented carrot look. Um, so I did like how that really turned out. So once you have these painted and they're ready to go, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the tops of them. If you look at the top, there's obviously a hole. Um, we're gonna be making one of these little tassels. Those are gonna fit right into the hole. So let me just show you quick how to do that. Um, so grab your green strands. Remember you're making two of these, so make sure you leave yourself enough to make two. Um, you'll wanna grab like five or six, and then you're gonna wanna grab an, the extra that you have laying next to you. Um, can I see that? Can you see it? It's hard for me to tell if you guys can see it when I can't see my camera. Yep, you guys can see it. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna find the middle of that you're actually going to take this extra one um, and you're going to go ahead and tie that. And then once you get it tied in the middle, you're going to put these together like this and you're going to take those extra ends and you're just going to do your best to wrap it around the end. It does not need to be perfect, guys. See, um, this is not like a specific science here to how to make this. Once you've got it wrapped a little bit, then you can go ahead and just grab any, any of the little strands and just tie it off. Okay, see how that ends up looking? It's hard to find my camera, see? Okay, not terribly hard. So get your, get your bundle, fold it in half, tie it in the middle, take the excess of that Piece that you tied and then just wrap it around the end to make a little tassel and then like I said you're gonna do that twice so then you're gonna want to grab your hot glue which you're gonna want to get plugged in you're just gonna put a tiny little dab right on the top so this is just gonna keep this guy in there it should actually fit in there pretty cozily there we go set that to the side but not in hot glue. And then do the same with the other one. This one's a little bit bigger, so it may not fit all the way down in there. There we go. All right, set those to the side. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab um, your round circle. So you want to make sure everything is dry. Um, so you may need to pause this video and do this in two parts. Um, so get your carrots painted, get them dried, and then um, do these last couple parts that I've been showing you here. You're going to pick a side that you want. I only did a couple coats on this side. You can tell the difference. Um, and then you're going to grab your vinyl. You're going to go ahead and peel it. It should come off pretty easily for you. It's all pre-peeled. And just go ahead and lay it on there. Once you get it where you want it, just give it a good rub. If you've got a scraper tool, you feel free to use that if you've just got your fingers. Um, especially these little letters, you just want to make sure that they're really on there. Let's see. 
And then once you're ready, you can begin peeling. Remember to go super slow, watching to make sure those letters are staying down. If they're not, just put the transfer vinyl back down and um, rub over that spot. There we go, isn't that cute, guys? So then once you have that, you can go ahead and um, you're gonna glue on your clothespin to the back. Um, just make sure you wanna line it up with the front so when you put it on, it's straight. Glue that bad boy on there. Let that dry a little bit. At this point, your little carrot should be ready to go. You can plop them in. Now it's always hard to see things that from the front when I'm doing it from above. And then you can take your little sign um, I just clipped mine right on the back. Try to show you guys here. You see that? Um, you can clip it wherever if you want to clip it up front. It's all up to you. And then I'm actually going to throw a little bit of twine in your guys' workshop too. Um, feel free to do with this as you will. Um, if you want to decorate tie it around the front, make a little bow. If you want to put it around your carrots and make them like into a little bundle, um, whatever you want to do with that twine. If you don't even want to use that twine, you're like, Autumn, you cray cray. I'm not even going to use that. Then I will not be offended. I promise. But I'm going to tie it around the front and make a little bow here. Just makes it, gives it a little rustic feel. It's a lot easier said than done here. And then as always, make sure, I might actually have to um, glue this. Make sure that you're posting a picture for me. I love to see your creativity and your mystery boxes. Plus it shows other ladies what they're missing out in the mystery box so that we can get some more ladies on the mystery box bandwagon. All right, there you go.